All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video, and it's the long weekend. It's kind of a, a dark and dreary day today. Uh, it's part, of course, the Labor Day long weekend. Uh, you know, it's rainy. It's pretty cool, chilly. So I thought, well, what a better time to make a video uh, for the VC where I continue with my CD box set collection. This is part five uh, in the series where I take a look at the original uh, long box format. This is basically where you've got the uh, the uh, CDs and jewel cases inside the box kind of thing. So let's get right to it. Uh, Roy Orbison. Uh, this is the legendary Roy Orbison for a compact disc set. Uh, this was on uh, CBS, but CBS Special uh, Market. So I guess the idea, it's kind of a budget uh, CD box set. But having said that, I mean, four CDs, nice booklet included. It doesn't seem like they've cut any real corners with this. So this is 1990. This focus is mainly on Roy Orbison in terms of it doesn't include any Traveling Wilbury stuff and it didn't include uh, any of his uh, later uh, solo stuff. So it doesn't have Mystery Girl or anything like that on it. But as I say, it's a nice box set and uh, it's attached on the side so the lid doesn't come right off. But uh, let's uh, take a look inside and uh, see what we got here. And again, a nice enough booklet, not super extensive, but a nice enough booklet. As I said, with this uh, series, I'm not going to take too, too long uh, looking at the booklets, but some great uh, 45 sleeves there. But yeah, a very nice booklet. And let's take a look at the compact discs. And if I got these in the right order, there's Roy Orbison. So very missed. Um, so very sad when he passed away. Such a wonderful, wonderful voice. You know, could do sing rock and roll, and of course his uh, voice for ballads was just incredible, almost operatic voice. Yeah, I think there was uh, definitely one or two other uh, box sets of Roy Orbison that came out after this one, but I think uh, in terms of the uh, CD box sets, this was one of the the early ones, um, posthumously released, of course. And there you have it. So yeah, they just uh, sit in there like that. And again, I should mention, if you hear any uh, strange sounds <laughs> as I'm uh, taking these CDs out, sometimes the CDs get a little wedged in there uh, with some of these uh, box sets, and then, you, you know, it's <laughs> trying to get the CD out. So occasionally, occasionally through the series, you might hear the strange sound, and it's the box sets, not me. And I'll stick to that story. Okay, uh, Everly Brothers. Boy, what a great... Uh, Great box set this is, uh, Heartaches and Harmonies. This on uh, Rhino, four CD box set uh, that came out in 1994 when Rhino was releasing terrific box sets. Uh, well deserved uh, for the Everly Brothers, uh, Phil and Don. And it's it's a nice, nice overview uh, right up to uh, their cover of Why Worry, a Dire Straits tune, and then On the Wings of a Nightingale, that song written by Paul McCartney. And I just think they uh, just do a great job with that song. And of course, they're incredible. Uh, songs from the uh, th uh, late 50s, early 60s, and right through. Amazing harmonies and the, the influence of uh, Phil and Don on, of course, the Beatles, on Simon and Garfunkel, of course. And it's interesting, you know, that they were predominantly acoustic uh, with, you know, country leanings for sure, but, uh, you know, I've always been in that sort of rock and roll vein. And yeah, this is just a lovely put together uh, CD box set uh, for this. That's disc one and disc two. Okay, disc three. And last but not least, disc four. And there you have it, and then just sits in this nice kind of white case like that. So yeah, really uh, thoughtfully put together package from the good folks at Rhino. And they were doing the CD box right. So the Everly Brothers.
Okay, there's that. Okay, let's change gears. How about Ted Nugent and Out of Control? Uh, this is on uh, Sony Legacy. This came out in 1993. Interesting, this is just a two CD box set. They easily could have released this, as, you know, on a regular CD jewel case, but they chose a, you know, a pretty nice presentation for this for a simple uh, two CD set, but uh, nice. Nice uh, photography there. Uh, a few stuff from the Amboy Dukes. Predominantly, this is going to focus on uh, Ted Nugent solo stuff um, on Sony. So yeah, I'm um, you know pretty pretty thin box, but just the two discs and uh, these something set inside like that. And then the booklet is not extensive. You know, a lot of photography, not too much uh, write ups and all this kind of stylized printing and writing. But uh, yeah, it's you know not too extensive and simply just two CDs like that, and then we've got uh, disc one like that. And there's a few uh, Amboy Dukes stuff on here, and then we've got uh, disc two. And oh my goodness, like again, it's sometimes it's, they just get wedged in there for whatever reason. That and like that. So, yes, the one and only Ted Nugent. Okay, so there's that. And we'll switch gears from Ted Nugent. How about to The Velvet Fog? How about Mel Torme Collection? This again on Rhino. Uh, this came out in 1996. Mel Torme, one of those crooners that does get, he gets kind of forgotten about. I mean, you know, he's no Frank, he was no Frank Sinatra or Dean Martiner, but he. You know, I liked his voice. You know, I thought he it just had, you know, the velvet fog. He just had that smooth sound. Uh, you know, a great writer. And, of course, he wrote uh, the Christmas song, which was the big Nat King Cole hit. And uh, you may remember when uh, Mel Torme was a recurring character in Night Court. Because the judge in Night Court was a big Mel Torme fan. But this is a really nice uh, box set presentation for this. A really nice booklet. Uh, that's included for this. You know, certainly smooth sounds, uh, you know, especially Mel Torme leaning a lot more jazz uh, than maybe some of the kerners. But uh, the Velvet Fog. Oh, okay, and then again, a four CD box set. And there he is in the fog there. <laughs> And pretty straightforward labeling. Like that. And disc three. All right. And then disc four. And then the, I think the last track is his rendition of the Christmas song. Okay, there you go, and that's the Mel Torme collection. And I'll pull that back in. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, and uh, it's uh, wonderful uh, for me to be able to show this uh, series, which I haven't uh, shown before, uh, talking about the Empress of the Blues, uh, Bessie Smith. And this was a series of box sets uh, that came out on Columbia in the early 90s, uh, certainly following the success of the Robert Johnson uh, box set, but uh, these are absolutely wonderful. I love Bessie Smith. I think she just had an amazing voice, you know, as I say, the Empress of the Blues. Um, and when you put her music on, it just takes you right back to the 30s, even if you weren't around in the 30s. It just, for, for whatever, I don't know, when you when you put it on, you're instantly transported to a completely different time. And uh, despite the very rough recordings, her voice just soars it just carries through she, she has such a big full voice and i think as a performer she likely didn't really even need a microphone on stage because she had just one of those uh big booming voices so this is the first in several uh, box sets so this is bessie smith the complete recordings volume one and again these are all sort of uh, box sets where they're attached here for the lids and then they just sit in there like that and uh, yeah each one is just a two cd box set uh, but they released uh, quite a few of them so again the booklets uh, are quite thin 
Um, but they, as I said, they did release a number of box sets uh, in this collection. Of course, Bessie Smith, a huge influence on Janis Joplin. There's some other artists uh, featured uh, in this booklet as well. Uh, some of the contemporaries from Bessie Smith. But uh, so there's a there's a booklet one, and so we've got to disc one, and as I said, the oh goodness, the CDs just wedged in there like that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one out. There we go, okay. And it's interesting, because I was listening to this not too long ago, but it's not as if I haven't heard this for a while, and they left it in the box set, but even when you just put them back in, sometimes they can just get wedged in there with the, the plastic backing. So there's disc one, and disc two. And this was part of the sort of Roots and Blues uh, series. Uh, that was on Columbia. So that is volume one. And it's interesting you don't see too much about Bessie Smith. Talk about another artist that seems to be getting kind of forgotten about or, you know, pushed aside. Like, uh, I, I don't think there's been any major Bessie Smith uh, reissues to my knowledge uh, since, since since this one. There's been a few uh, on vinyl, but uh, nothing, you know, nothing too major. I'm surprised they haven't released this as like a, a complete big box set. So here is volume one. And then we carry on with volume two of the series. And again, just two CD sets with a lot of uh, you know alternate takes on these discs. Uh, and this one, and this one though, the, the oops, the the box comes right off. And, uh, all right, so again, a pretty thin booklet, but well, there's that, and then simply the two discs are in here, so. Uh, Start with disc one. But yeah, it was a nice uh, presentation and kind of an ambitious uh, release uh, for this uh, Bessie Smith collection, but I'm surprised it hasn't really been, you know, revisited or anything like that. And even given uh, the fact that there was a movie not too long ago, was it Queen Latifah uh, that played uh, Bessie Smith? But uh, there hasn't, there doesn't seem to have been any sort of re-examination of Bessie Smith's uh, career. So that's the second one. And then we have the Complete Recordings Volume 3. You know, just wonderful photography for sure. Oh, this one, the, the back's on upside down. So that's what the back looks like on that one. And we'll carry on. Like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, so there's that, and uh, let's take a look at the discs. And then simply disc one. And disc two. And there you have that. So that is volume three, and you're saying, oh, is that it? No, wait, there's more. Uh, we have uh, Bessie Smith and uh, Volume 4 uh, from the series. And uh, so now we're getting into roughly about uh, 1993 in terms of the releases. So this is the fourth one uh, of the series. Again, still just two uh, CD sets. And it uh, comes right off like that. Yeah, oops. And this one uh, included... Uh, what you could also get on either the country series and also on the blues and roots series like the country, classics, gospel spirit, or blues and jazz. That's that. So again, pretty much all following the same style for the booklet uh, or for the CD releases. Such great photos of Bessie Smith uh, in these. Okay, and so we have uh, now disc one. Yeah, but these are these are a joy to listen to for sure. And disc two. And again, as part of the Roots and Blues series. Okay, so that is a volume four, and then last but not least, volume five of this series of Bessie Smith. Now, this one they kind of stretched it out, and interesting, you'll see actually a parental advisory on a Bessie Smith <laughs> box set. Uh, there's some uh, frank interviews uh, on here 
uh, on uh, disc two, and uh, some of the songs are getting a little saucy, shall we say, or a little risque. Uh, so this is the last in the series in terms of the complete uh, recordings of uh, Bessie Smith on Columbia, Empress of the Blues. So we'll take a look at the last box set of this series, but it'd be interesting if they just, I don't know, re-release these or maybe uh, touch up on the mastering like they did with uh, Robert Johnson, how now uh, even those recordings, of course they're rough, but they even sound better than when when they were first released uh, on as part of the CD box set. So this is the last one in the series. But it's just so much great music. Okay, there's that. And uh, let's uh, start it off with disc one. And last but not least, disc two. But yeah, a lot more interviews and things like that on this one to wrap up the series. So that's going to wrap it up uh, for this one. Again, uh, part five of the series. There is more to come uh, with the CD box sets, original long box format. Uh, thanks so much. I've really enjoyed presenting these, and I've enjoyed the response and all the comments. So again, uh, I haven't said it for a while. Like and subscribe, uh, if you will. I'm now over 900 subscribers, and I can't believe it. Thank you very much. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, we'll chat again really soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.